I think if women rule the world, we need to take that chance, we need to take opportunity and we need to believe in ourselves. I'm in Paris because I was invited to sit front row at the Dior Haute Couture show by Maria Grazia herself, who is the first female creative director of Dior. And I continue to be inspired by her because she's using her platform to raise awareness for feminism and female empowerment. And I just love to have a conversation with her and I'm super excited. Let's do the fitting. I mean, there's something that needs to be underneath, no? Or am I? Why? It's you. <laughs> Let's try it Let's on. Try it out, yeah. So the logo has changed into Doubts and Diaries. There's two Ds. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> it's very special for me to be here today because it will be the first time for me to sit front row at the Dior show. And I've done the show many times. And thinking of that and memorizing one of my favorite moments was at Versailles when I did the fashion show and I was there with my supermodel heroes with Naomi Campbell, Linda Evangelista and Cara Mulder and it was so epic and now I'll be here, I'll be sitting front row and just watching it from a different perspective is, is very special. Oh, like this it? is beautiful. I mean, yes. Right? Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Can you even... Have you... Is it really helemaal los? It's kind of a puzzle sometimes, you know, fittings. So glamorous. Help! More, more, more. More Dior. That look beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Mr. Oh. It takes a village. Well, as you can see, things take a long time and it's already dark outside. I've never been to a haute couture atelier, so I'm super excited. So this is where the magic happens. Wow. Bonjour. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. There's a big difference between haute couture and ready to wear. Haute couture is all handcrafted and you have to make an appointment with the ore and then the dress is made specially for you and it's very unique. It's the night before the show and I'm having a preview of all the dresses that will be on the runway tomorrow. Look at that! So it's five people working on one dress coming to live. It's amazing to witness the craftsmanship that these people have and without them I would not be able to witness tomorrow the dress on the runway. It's very important for me to see the amount of work that goes into one dress. So it took almost 50 hours. Um, 250. About 250. I think. Uh, 300 maybe. Yes. So 300 hours that go into one dress. 40 meters of fabric. For the hem. Just for the hem. The longer of the hem. Wow, look at all the different body shapes. So tomorrow when I'm sitting and watching the show and witnessing all the magic coming to life, I will think of all these people that work here and create these amazing dresses. I'm finally on my way to meet Maria Grazia. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you? Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me because I know you have the show tomorrow. No, I'm sorry. But I would love to have a little <laughs> chat with you about how you created all this and how it came along. For me, it's amazing to see you using your platform, you know, to support women's rights and femininity and... Because the Dior is close with femininity. Yeah. And when I arrived in Dior, immediately I understood how big is our platform because Dior is very well known around the world. Uh, and I think it's very important to share this platform with other yeah. women. So I'm worried for the future of my kids. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. I have a daughter and also a boy, and uh, I think it's very important to. Give but them. boys can also be feminists. Absolutely. So no, they it's have good. To be. <laughs> yeah, I think so. They have to support us. Yeah. Also, a creative director now has a different point of view because. Uh, Probably with the new media, they can discover many books, they can discover many things uh, yeah. about our job, and so we can reflect more about yeah. what we do and uh, yeah. the reference that we give to other women, especially for the new generation. Yeah, and you're the first female uh, yes, creative director, yes. so how does that make you feel? A big responsible. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You're being empowered as yeah. a woman. And but at the same time, so 
I want to show the girls that uh, the new generation that uh, if they have a passion, they can realize themselves in a different way. So you feel like there's no support to each other to support each other to have a job? Uh, I, yes, I, I really believe in sisterhood, but at the same time, so I think that uh, we don't believe sometimes enough uh, in ourselves, in yeah. our skills, our strength. Uh, yeah. We feel that it's too much difficult for us yeah. to realize our dream. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, that fashion can give a positive message that you can realize your yeah, dream. Yeah, for sure. And that's You're doing it. You're yeah. the example. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And for me, what helps for me is that I tell my children that I love my job. It's important for them to have some reference. Uh, mm -hmm. Because um, why I'm so obsessed with art? Because when I grew up in Italy also, for the background that uh, we have. Uh, in our book, there was only male artists. Yeah. Caravaggio, Raffaello, no reference for women artists. No. At the time, it uh, was um, very far in my mind to think that I could be arrived to be creative director in a house like yours. Mm -hmm. For me to see Fendi Femini was a big example. Yeah, also, so that was your reference. Yes, was my reference. Uh, and also Judy Chicago, when she started in 70, the first thing that she did was to open a school of art for women. Yeah. Uh, Have you followed her work since the beginning? Yes, yes. Because I, 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 I found out because of you. But I don't think that all are this lucky to have this opportunity like yeah. me around the world. So now in Dior I want to, uh, also because we have a big audience, uh, to show that it's possible also for, sure. for other girls uh, yeah. to start uh, their career, to realize themselves in their career, also in their private. Life. Is the slogan for tomorrow's show, if females Divine. rule the world? Yes. <laughs> is this something you believe in? I believe that uh, women have different relationship with the power. They really believe uh, more in uh, sisterhood. And they mm -hmm. think they are not obsessed uh, with the idea, the classic idea of the power. They don't realize themselves uh, in idea of the power. For sure, that I, I, I agree with you, there's a big difference. I think there's, it's always the balance. Yes. In 2020, you still have to make a t-shirt that says, we should all be feminists. And it's, to me, I wonder why we still have to, you know, manifest ourselves and still have to talk about it. Uh, and, yeah. But, and this, and I think also because uh, normally we think about our environment, but if you see in global, the yeah. situation in the world, mm -hmm. there are many countries where women are not so It's easy. worse. It's yeah. worse. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, if you're thinking around the world, we need to yeah. be feminist. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Absolutely. And I'm so, I'm so proud of that you are in my industry, in the fashion industry, you know, and I'm doing so, this. Uh, yes, because and fashion industry can do a lot. A lot. Happy that we can use it for Absolutely. something like this. I need to ask you, because yes. we are in Paris, yes. and I need to know the best Italian restaurant. Oh. <laughs> and you would know. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's, uh, I think the best Italian restaurant is Passerini. Passerini? Yes. Passerini. Uh, it's very difficult because uh, you can book. Only you can get a table. Yes, <laughs> it's the best. Yeah. Now, if you would like, we want to show you some look. We think it's one of a kind, it's only for you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Can I tell you, I have never been in this position <laughs> <laughs> to sit next to the designer. Gorgeous. Wow. Oh, echt? Yeah. She's Dutch. <laughs> yeah. She's a oh. friend of the house. I'll Thank see you tomorrow. You. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I chose a nice outfit. I, this is my kid. Ah, this <laughs> is mine. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank I'll see you, you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 I was so nervous. And then she was the loveliest, yeah. you know, loveliest person. Yeah, she was very happy to meet you as well. And to sit there and sitting next to the head designer mm. of this big fashion brand you know it's like mm. i have never been in that position ever mm. like i was always yes. that model yes. it's a very nice experience so mm. thank you good morning it's the day of the show and i'm getting ready come in ah, good morning hello so i finally decided what to wear 
Bonjour, it's the day of the show and I just got ready. Would you like to come with me? Let's go. <laughs> My life. So this is <laughs> yes. This is your job. All day, every day. I guess I'm ready. I'm ready to sit front row. Let's roll. So what time is it? It's time to go to the show. If you think that I was just going to a show and it would be just putting an outfit on and makeup and then go to a show, it's not like that. I have all the social media filming and asking questions. They like a shot of me walking through the revolving doors. And that's an etalage pop. You're so yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, the bag. Oh, somebody. Oh, shit. The bag. She's like, where's your bag? This is how I arrived. Yeah, it was quicker to walk. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's good to hear. How are you? Good. Good. Wow. This is so nice. It's very impressive to walk in here. First to see it from outside and then to walk in here. All these messages is so. It, I think it's so important that it makes people think. Welcome to a fashion show. I think if women rule the world, the answer to the question is we need to take that chance, we need to take opportunity and we need to believe in ourselves. I'm not sure if you should, you should do YouTube. Uh, it's made for this. Thank you so much Thank for having you. me again. Really. And Thank it was you. so beautiful. I hope to see you again. Congratulations. Really. Yes, for That's sure. So I would love to. Yeah, Thank it was so beautiful. Yes, oh, it was so, I mean, look at these dresses. And you know what? Seeing it in the atelier, I recognize you know? some of oh, the pieces. Yes, really nice. Yeah. So it was great Coming to live. Yes. Beautiful, gorgeous. Coming to Paris, having a conversation with Maria Grazia and talking to her about her activism about empowering women was you know by itself already such a great experience and then I saw the show and I saw the incredible art and knowing that with art we can inspire and the fact that Maria Grazia does that and I, I can be a part of that is incredible to me and I'm very grateful and I hope it inspired you too and if it did thumbs up and subscribe and on to the next one Oh my god, I cannot find a hole. I hit strakke gaatjes. <laughs> <laughs>